And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat, everybody on YouTube. We're going to be playing a new game today. We're going to be trying out some Legends of Rune Terra. Um, for those of y'all that have been watching my stream for a while, just going to give a little quick life update. If you're kind of newer to the channel, don't care if you're watching on YouTube, you can fast forward for just a second. But basically, um, I've... I just kind of, I as y'all know, I've been playing Magic the Gathering uh, basically always. That's that's the one game that I've just always played, um, and I kind of want to just branch out and and play different games and not just always uh, play Magic all the time. Um, and to start with, that is this game, Legends of Runeterra, that looked looks really interesting, and I've just heard some some really good things. Some friends were telling me that I really need to try it and stuff like that. And so that's what I want to do. I want to, want to give this a try. So for those of y'all that play Magic that have never played Legends of Runeterra before, I hope y'all uh, watch the tutorials that I'm about to do. This is, you know, I'm going to be playing it for the first time with y'all. Um, but it looks it looks really interesting. It, it's, uh, it's a deck, it's a game that, um, it's similar to Magic. Um, it, it gives very good rewards where you can really play through and build a collection pretty easily for free without having to spend money. It's a free game. Um, so that's really nice. It has... A really good turn sequence where it's not like if you play if you're on the play you're playing first then you have a huge advantage over your opponent because uh, basically you both get uh, mana like the the turns basically both of both of y'all like you both get to play creatures during one turn um you know and uh, it's just one person attacks during the turn one person defends during the turn and then the ne the second turn the other person attacks and the other person defends but you both get to like play spells and and everything like that. Hey, thank, thank you so much there, Fox. Thank you. Um, and so, yeah, I just really wanted to, to try something new. Um, I'm going to be streaming at the same time. I'm still going to be, uh, um, you know, streaming the same every single day. I just want to give this game really uh, a real shot. And y'all on YouTube, let me know how, you, how you're liking the game, everything like that. But like I said, I waited to start playing the game until the stream um, so that you can watch... Um, so you can, you can watch us, you know, like go through the game, build a collection, everything like that. And we're going to try to rank up to the highest rank, whatever that is. I don't know exactly what their mythic is called yet. It's probably called something similar. Um, but I know they have that ranking system and everything. Um, I don't know if there's a smartphone version or if it's only PC. I don't know, honestly. Um, uh, Okay, so what we're going to be doing for this first video is we're going to be going through the tutorials. There's, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then four more. So 13 tutorials. Yeah, there's like four real short ones that it makes you play right away just to get to the main menu. I had to already play those to get to the main menu um, so that I could, because it had like my uh, um, screen on the wrong monitor and stuff. But we're, we're going to go back and play through those and play them right now because people in chat want to want to see the first ones too. So we're gonna we're gonna go through those. Um, also, as y'all know, I, I I you know I've been gone for the last week. You know, YouTube. Um, I moved across country. I'm at my new house. I'm really excited about it. I am uh, in my stream room right now, but I did not bring like my desk with me because it was like an it wasn't a good desk. But anyway, um, I got a, a new desk that. Uh, is coming on Monday and that's going to be set up over there in the room and not and so I won't have the windows right behind me um, but for now I'm on this little table that I have everything set up on just a little table for the next couple of days as I'm getting unpacked and and everything um, and so for right now I can, I'm on this little table with this behind me okay all right um, Smartphone version coming soon, says people in chat. The ranking system goes Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master. That's a lot of levels. We're going to start at Iron. Um, new internet is honestly about the same as the old. The only internet that I could get was Gigabyte Download, which is awesome, but only 30 uh, upload. So it's like, you know, like a thousand download, but only 30 upload. So hopefully it's good. Hey, happy Valentine's Day, Shame. Thank you so much. Um, other th other kind of major announcement is I think I, I I am thinking about changing my stream name instead of being Todd Stevens MTG because of, you know, like the whole MTG in there. I'm thinking, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to think of other ideas of like something else to get just like a, a broad 
name is as y'all know a whole lot of like the big streamers and stuff they don't have just like their name and then a game you know like they're not really focused on just one game they play like a whole bunch of different games and so that's what i'm that's what i you know i've been kind of thinking about doing and so um anybody has ideas for names you know always let me know but <clears throat> okay um so anyway let's play through these uh first four tutorials and then I got to play through these to get other cards and decks and then we'll kind of move on from there. So here we go. Um, so this was the very first one. Very first tutorial. First battle, how to win attacking and champions. All right, so this over here, these are, these are your life totals. Basically, you, you start at 20 life, just like with magic. As far as I know, you can't go above 20, though, because I've seen, like, life gain stuff. I think you only get you only gain life back up to 20, so you can't have, like, 35 life. They call it your nexus. And so whenever your nexus is destroyed, you lose. Of course, these are your cards in hand. Garen is a champion. And so the champions have an ability where they level up if they hit some specific thing. So Garen just has to strike anything once, and he levels up. Stop this blustering so we're going to play Garen. And so now he's on the battlefield. So, you know, like that's our battlefield. That's their battlefield. And of course, attacks, you know, five power, five defense. You know, five's the mana cost up there. Boy, who are you again? Oh, that's a good good FYI. The champion level up are different in the main game and the tutorial. I did not know that. The actual Garen needs to strike twice. All right, so each yeah, so each turn you go back and forth taking actions. Like whenever we play our creature, they're probably not called creatures. What are they called in this game? Hey, what's up, Errol? Um, so we summoned Garen. So this is our nexus. Has six health. Destroy the enemy, the enemy nexus to win. So then we can attack right away. Basically, all creatures have haste in the game. Are all minions, champions, followers? So there's champions and followers. Anyway, so we'll put Garen out in the middle. We'll attack. So they're going to block. So they put theirs in front. And it's always just, you know, like you just put them in front to to attack or block. All right, so Garen did damage. So now turns with the leveling up, basically gets plus one, plus one. Notice how it like, was dealt four damage, so the toughness went down from six to, to, to two, which that's like something that happens until end of turn in Magic, as you all know. In this game, that hap that's um, always like that. So like... They don't. They don't just heal at the end of the turn. You know, it's, this is the end of you know end of turn. Next turn, still just has two damage. So it's you can you know chump block stuff. You know, over a couple of turns and then kill it. Yeah, because it's because that's yeah it's like a health yeah it's health for them not toughness. So just like how you have health, the. Oh yeah, because that was their turn, so they were the attacker. Yeah, so some can't, some can heal, you know. That's, but not just in general. Not everybody doesn't do that. So the regeneration is that keyword. Boom! Look at us, so good. So that's what happens when you win. We get zero experience for doing a tutorial we've already done. All right, so that's the first battle. The best defense. Okay, the actual real Garen does have that regeneration. Cool. <laughs> Tried to lose the tutorial. <clears throat> I think the fourth tutorial you could lose. That last one, it obviously, it was just impossible to lose. Horos, what are you going to do? 
cuddle me to death. Oh, it won't let you? All right, so the Mighty Poro is a follower. Unlike champions, followers cannot level up. Okay, so there's champions and followers. So instead of Even creatures, we call them followers. All right, so we're going to play this champion. So it's an 06 that has to block to level up. Can't you, like, see what it does whenever it levels up? If you, like... I thought it was, like, if you right-click it or something. All right, so they have a 2-2, two -two, a 2-2, two -two, and a 5-5. Five -five. Okay, it is It is right click, but the tutorial doesn't have it correctly. So you know like we're blocking that one right now. Damage in the game happens from left to right. Level up. And so, like, if something has an effect, like, if this card had an effect of, like, whenever it de deals damage to me, something happens, then that effect would happen before other damage would happen. As far as I know. Then, storm had cleared, and farmer said, no, thank you! <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, we march. We march. It's actually February. Close, though. Next month. Survive one round and don't let any of the Poros die. Ooh, how should we block? How about the very easy, obvious blocks? Put three threes in front of two twos and an 07 in front of a 5-5. Five five. Hey, Escoria. Is hungry work. You like yeah, let, yeah. Legends of Terror looks really sweet. <clears throat> We're just kind of going through some of the tutorials right now. Okay, so we have... So that was the first two tutorials. Here's the next one. If the game reaches around 40, it ends in a tie. Okay, that's interesting. I did not know that. Okay, so it is still called mana. <laughs> no, Scoria, I'm, yeah, I'm trying a new trying a new game. Here, Scoria, if you didn't see my announcements on. Uh, let's see. Mana, you Okay, yeah, you use mana to play your card. You start the game with one mana. So, yeah. So, basically, that's how a turn goes. Each It's the opponent's turn. So, they pass. They don't have anything that costs one mana. <clears throat> I have a creature that costs one mana, so I can still play it, even though, like, well, it's like, it's not their turn. It's just they're the attacker. So, that's how it goes. But I'm, I'm not the attacker, so I don't get to attack. So, we'll just end, end the turn, go, go to me, end the round. So, now we both have two. And now we can play stuff that costs two. I'm gonna play Elise. Mm, feels good. Has something whenever it attacks, it's it attacks with an additional one one. Attack with Elise, then your spiraling. I don't know why that matters. Yeah. So then whenever it attacks. You just summon an attacking Spiderling. Let's get a new spider. They just have a... A 1-1 one, one they're just blocking. With. All right, and then end the turn. So now, now it's turn three. I'll just start saying round. Now it's round three, so now they're the attacker. When summon, you get two wrench bots. Cool. What is this? Why technology, of course. All right, so I get a spooky spider. Go forth, my creations. All right, so they're just going to attackers. 
So I have to block. So I guess I, I can't actually, I could not actually play another. <clears throat> I couldn't like keep playing creatures before they attacked, it looks like. All right, so remain. I still have one mana to spend. So I can play this spider. So it was like they took one action, and then it was my turn to take an action, and then their next action was just attacking, and so then my next action had to be blocking. And then after attacks, then I got to spend the rest of my mana. Time we wrap this up. You have three spiders. Spider Queen Elise transforms. Hey, Kittle's move was very good. It's busy and tiring and everything like that, but everything went perfectly. Everything, you know, nothing broke, as far as I know. All right, so we want to attack. I guess I don't have great attacks. You've seen a thousand spiders squished? It's a lot of spiders squished. Hmm. I'll just pass. We'll set up next turn. Next turn we'll have five. We'll have be able to play this thing, Arachnid Host. Next Nimbus Maze. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I've seen that. You can, yeah, you can drag them all to attack with all. I don't think they let you do that really in the tutorial. It's really not a good attack. Black. Is it? Is it that you can't have more? Um, can you only have six? six uh, units out here. I know they, they said that like when I did this tutorial the first time, like I couldn't play this because it said you can only have six, six units. Is that how it is in like the regular game too? Attack all. Okay, six units max, that is. Um, honestly, Kittles, I haven't, yeah, I just haven't looked at that deck since since we played it early. And honestly, I, I, so honestly, I, I'm not sure um, any changes for best of one with that deck. Okay, so that's the third tutorial. One more, and then we'll start doing the tutorials that I don't know what they are yet and get some more experience and try to get some more cards. So there are spells. Burst spells and spell mana. Burst spells are like instants. Are there any Runeterra Twitch extensions? There is, because it. Whenever I set this up, they said like there was like an extension that popped up to to use that like shows like the deck that you're playing. Um, but I it was like right before I started stream. I didn't have time. Whoops! I did not want to click that. I did not have time. Well, now I just exited the chat, but I'm back. I'm back in the chat now. I don't. I did not have time to set it up. Um. So I don't know. I'll try. You know, I can I can get that set up for tomorrow. But oh, I have to click the play now. Wow, I was just sitting here waiting. I'm sorry. For justice and all things. Okay, so spells. You drew a spell. Spells are powerful cards. You can turn the tide of the battle. So this is just divination. Three mana, draw two. Um, but burst spells are the fastest spells in the game. They don't take effect immediately. They take effect immediately, and they don't count as taking an action. 
So like when you take an action that's like playing something, then after you take an action, then your opponent gets to do something. But I guess a burst spell that doesn't actually count. So I still have priority. So I play this thing. It gives an ally a barrier, which would protect the next damage it would take this round. Time for this hey, Plitha, move. the move like went out smoothly. We'll see about that. Just returned the truck earlier today. Got everything out of it. Zed looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna attack with both our units. And we're like the 5-3 can't get damaged this round. Yeah, so Burst is very similar to old Interrupts. So it's basically like having Sorcery Speed, Instant Speed, and Interrupt. Alright, so they gave their, their thing plus zero, plus three. Protect it. Now they're going to give it plus 3, plus 0, make it a 6-2 and attack with a 6-2. But the thing it says whenever it attacks, it creates a, a living shadow with whatever its stats were. So if that's a 6-2, then that's a 6-2. We can block with a 5-3. Then we can give it a barrier. So it doesn't take damage this round. They're taking, playing Shadow Swift to switch spots. So it's still being blocked. Like Magic, there's n not anything like that, like where the thing would still be blocked. Hey, thanks, Magma Love. Thanks for the resub. No, probably not, Joy. No, I don't. I don't think so. But I. I just want to try. I want to play a new game for a little bit. Let's light them up. All right. So, um, any. I guess this other thing. So whenever you have the uncast, unspent mana at the end of the turn, it goes. You have like you can save mana for the next turn. So we had the seven for the turn. Plus we have this three saved. But whenever you save mana, you can only use that saved mana on spells. So like this is. So like, not creatures or units or whatever. So we'll deal six damage into to that. Darkness. Is that going into darkness? Lux transforms. And now Lux says that whenever Lux attacks, you create a final spark. A beacon in battle. So we're going to attack. And then we just get a final spark created into our hand, so that's sweet. So I just got a couple of four threes. So I have eight plus two. I'm gonna start with a two. Yeah, play this. There we go. I've got your Give that a barrier. This is my choice. Shield up. I'm gonna block both of these. This one has a barrier. I guess we have to block. We'll do another draw two. I still have more mana, so we'll play this before the end of the turn. Actually here. All right, now I'll go to my turn. Play another creature. Grant an ally, plus two, plus two. They're at four. Let's give this two, two, plus two, plus two. So now we have two lethal attackers. 
So yeah, I guess the final spark does six damage to the enemy unit. So I could have, I can't do six damage to them. Can I, can, can, cause that's not like a unit, right? You can't cast that at this time. Oh, so no no reason to play a creature when you have lethal, because whenever I play a creature, then they have the ability to play a creature. So if I just go straight to attacks, then they don't get to play a creature to block, right? Hey, Necrolepsy, one year. Thanks, Necrolepsy. Yeah, units are just the champions and followers, and not the Nexus. Okay, or they could just play a board wipe after I play the creature. Ooh. So that's, that's a good point. So yeah, good to know. Okay, so now let's start playing these new tutorials that I haven't played yet. Um, should we start? Should we start at the bottom with this one, or start at the top? I don't know if it matters. What do y'all think? All right, Kenda says top. Let's start at the top. Practice the unique back and forth flow in Legends of Runeterra and help Garen defeat the Sinister Blade. All right. Attack, block, summon. Use the skills you've learned to help Garen defeat Katarina. Okay, so it's first turn. We have one mana. We're going to play this one mana T2. I'm actually here. They passed. I'll I'm going to attack for two. Uh, well, yeah, we'll start building decks probably after the tutorials. You know, like we'll we'll play through the tutorials and then we'll see what like I guess that's like the prologue. Each round your mana refills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, reporting in, and we'll see all the you know whatever rewards we get and everything like that. So two mana, one four. Hey, after wizard. You've drawn a card with a keyword. Tough. Click on the card to inspect and hover tough to find out what it means. Okay, so we would click on the card. Okay, so you have to right click. It takes one less damage from all sources. Yeah, that sounds pretty tough. All right, three mana. When I'm summoned, draw a unit. Draw a unit if an ally died this round. Okay, so we want an ally to die this round. So we're going to just go up and attack. Charge. Can't block. Never mind. Approaching the battlefront. Well, I guess I was supposed to... Yeah, maybe I should have just attacked first before they played something else, but oh well. If it says ally, it means anything on your side. If it says enemy, it means anything on their side. Followers are non-champions. Aw, look at the little plucky poro. Hey, what's up, Gimme Zen Grief? Seven months, thank you so much. Um, let's play this little... Oh man, I want one. What is this thing? When I've struck, then recall me? Can you? Oh, you can't double block in this game, can you? Yeah, you cannot double block. Not on my watch. Violence. 
solves everything. No oh, and Katarina also has first. Okay, so this is the quick attack is first strike. Okay. So now I'm gonna play this thing to draw. We get to draw a unit if an ally died this round. So an ally died, so we got to draw a unit. All right, turn five. Um, so level up, you've struck twice, and has regeneration. All right, come on out here, Garen. We fight for those who cannot. How spider. All right, um, attack with you and you. Okay, there's no first strike with blocking. The first strike's only with attacking. Makes sense. Stay resolute. So I have attack, grant me plus two, plus two. That's pretty sweet. Silver wing scout that has elusive, so that's like flying and then tough. Okay. Um, Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. All right, so they did not attack. Hey, what's up, Yud? Thanks. Okay, we got seven mana. Um, let's play this flyer. All right, and then let's go to attacks. Oh no, that thing's big. A six five. So this is attack gives other battling allies plus one plus one and fearsome. And then fearsome is can only be blocked by enemies with three or more power. So these two things won't be able to block. So let's definitely attack with this. Attack with this. I guess we attack with Garen also, even though Garen may die. I shouldn't really attack with these things. You know what? No. We're attacking. We're in there. No one will remember you. Look at that. We're in there. Got some free damage in. <laughs> oh, is Stream Decker up right now? Okay, sorry. Um, coming out here, Plucky Poro. What's up, Horatio? Yeah, yeah, I, fi I figured out how to do the attack all. I just didn't, I wasn't really planning on attack all at first. When I'm summoned, rally. What does rally mean? If you don't have one, gain the attack token. You can attack this round. What? Dude, that is sweet. Play this. Lady Give me that attack token. The honor. the honor is mine, Cithric. What? No hesitation. Right on. Oh, right. I'm just going to attack with everything. Let's drag, hey, pick them all up. Get in there. Defend the Empire. Rally is broken. Dude, right? Formation. Victory! Okay, so far we have defeated all of the tutorials. We got some experience. All right, we unlocked something that looks pretty cool. Let's go to our rewards. What do we get? Because we we got a new deck, a rare wild card. Now we got a core bundle. 
So what's a core bundle? Two cards, two cards, two cards, two cards. Two of all those. Cool. All right, got some got some new cards. Next, we got an epic bundle. Okay, so we're gonna go to tutorials. The next one, defend the north. Noxus will never give up its search for the power of true ice. Help the barbarian king protect the Frey Lord. Is that is that pronounced right? Frey Lord. Jord. All right, so yeah, I don't, I don't have that set up yet. So I'll just, hey, recess. So I'll just uh, do that. All right, so we got Mulligan, Burst Spells, Champions. Oh yeah, you get to Mulligan in this game. You'll need more, more than allies to survive this time. Cleverly use spells to outwit your opponent. All right, turn one. We got one mana. The Lonely Poro. We'll play you. I don't even know what you do. When I'm summoned, create in hand a random one-cost Poro from any region. <laughs> we got a nimble, nimble Poro. Oh, attack. Dude, fanatical Firebrand. It's even better. Just gets you another 1-1. One, one. Freljord. Uh, burst. Give an ally plus zero plus two. Okay. Explosives primed. Attack do one damage to the enemy nexus. So it gets one unblockable. Everything's in place. Wait. I'm not sure why that one transformed. One more month and it's a year. Sanctuary tank. Thanks for the resub. Well, I don't. So I guess yeah, I could have used the burst spell to keep it alive, but it was also just a one-one. Like it's probably it's probably better to keep like something else alive, right? Draw a champion. I. I'm gonna attack first before they play a defender. All right, so then these this mana will just be spell mana. All right, so our sub goal is at eight. I'm a little behind. Oh, the other Poro was happy because he wasn't alone anymore. What's this thing? Last breath. So last breath is like, what's that like in, in magic? Like whenever it dies, it does this. Deals two damage to me. Rude. All right, so bull, bull. When I'm summoned, draw two Poros if you have a Poro ally. I do have a Poro ally. Is there a maximum amount of cards you can have in hand? Ten. So ten's the most cards we can have in hand. So do I not have time to play like if I even if I wanted to play that thing? Do I have to play it like before blocks or something? I'm not sure, like even if I wanted to play that, it's not like it gave me an opportunity to. You play it before you declare the block. Okay. So frostbite an enemy. Power to zero this round. It's not a very good card. So like, what I can I attack first and like wait for after them to block and then do this after they block? Yeah. Okay. 
I can. All right, so I will give... Um, Frostbite uses my mana better. No, I'll just do Frostbite. That's not a very good card. Oh, it's a busted card? All right. All right, Frostbite's good. I guess we'll see it on the ladder. Your action, 6-5. Level up if I have 10 or less health. Well, that's not gonna happen. What do I got? I got six mana. Grant Poro allies everywhere, plus one, plus one. Poro snacks. Sweet. So I just have six mana. Inconvenient amount of mana to have. Strength above all. Hmm. I wish I could double block. Wait, so I have to do this first. I'm going to give this thing plus zero, plus two. And now I block. <laughs> Did you check the in-game emotes? No, what what are in-game emotes? Is that this thing? No. Uh give me another poro out here. The face next to your name. Ah, uh, this thing. More poros. Attack. So I do I have to do this now or do I click attack? And I, I want to click attack first, right? And then they block and then I do that. All right, now I'm gonna do this. I don't even know what I have that are poros or if this is even gonna be good. Those two things. Eh, it was kind of good. Good enough. That was not a very good combat for me. If I would die, I level up instead. Levels up to be a 9-9. It has this thing too, what is this thing? A champion spell. What are champion spells? Oh, this thing has... I don't know. I don't know what that champion spell is all about. <laughs> Gotta make that sacrifice. It's a rain act in our champion spells are when you have that champion out and you draw another copy. Ooh, okay. Okay, because then you can't play the other copies, then you would get that instead. Join me in battle. In battle. You don't stand a chance. I'm not done. That does look pretty sweet. That does look pretty sweet. All right, and then just pass. Looks like I don't have any mana. All right, my turn, or at least I'm the attacker. So they don't have any creatures out, so we just attack right now. <laughs> yeah, was it Nexus banned? It's the best one. All right, we unlocked 
Something cool. We're getting closer to a vault thing. All right, what do we unlock? The epic bundle. Let's check it out. So we got some epic spells. Progress day burst. Draw three, then reduce their cost their cost by one. That's pretty sweet. Costs a lot of mana, but spells you get that extra spell mana. This card was ridiculously good, at least in the in the whatever thing. Kill all enemies with power zero, then frostbite all enemies. Whoa. This thing's elusive. Oh, we get something else too, I guess. Kill all units. Cool. Okay, let's go to our next tutorial. Where are we at? Dang, there's still a lot of tutorials. Get excited! This feels so blah. I mean, well, we're also doing tutorials, Thrice. Like, think about how exciting MTG tutorials are. It can't be that exciting. Wanna play a game? Tic -tac -toe? Dumb the removal's re just really expensive with the game. Yeah. Wrath of God costs nine, murder costs seven. Wow. All right, so fast spells are powerful, but your enemy will get a chance to react with fast or burst spells of their own. I don't have time for games. So yeah, shock costs two. Cast shock on Jinx's pyro. Robot. All right. Time for some target practice. Hey, my stuff. Yeah, give it give us some time. All of your spells and skills deal one extra damage. All right, we're going to shock this thing too. So we're just shocking everything. So they're responding with a burst spell. And they take effect order from left to right, like that's the stack. So their stack was like plus two, plus two. So levels up when you target an enemy unit six plus times. Some units create skills similar Let's to fast spells. Again. All right, let's try this again. You defeated the Funsmith before the face melter skill could take effect, so the Funsmith's damage enhancing, enhancing aura was gone. Hey Chris, yep, doing good. Yeah, no, I've I've been in the process of mooning, moving. Hey, one mana, one one. Let's draw one. That's good. So that's a slow spell. Give their unit plus three plus three. Uh, but I have a slow spell, so I can't respond. So we'll target the Nexus and these two. Yeah, so that was like a sorcery. So you can't respond to a sorcery with the sorcery. Sorceries don't get to respond to stuff. No, no, I didn't. I didn't, Chris. Um, trying out a new game though. Defeat Jinx. So just all right. So it's just leveled up. Play deals one to all enemies. Okay, so that's a skill that's about to happen, and I can respond with this burst. Draw three, then reduce. Give an ally plus two plus two. 
So I can do that on this one one that's about to die. And then I let this resolve. Hey, what's up, Choco? Yeah, liking the game so far. You know, still, of course, learning. We're just going through the tutorials right now. Learning all about it. All right, and I just have one mana. I can play this one mana, t one mana, t two. Block. So that's a seven one. <clears throat> so that next time, whenever our one one blocks it. All right, I'm gonna attack with this. I was kind of hoping they were going to play something and then I could do damage to it also because this thing does damage to three enemies. But I don't want to just waste all of my mana. Alright, so what is this now? Nexus Strike, create a fleeting zero cost Mystic Shot. When you cast a spell, deal two damage to the enemy Nexus. So every spell that we cast does two. Oh, that thing was just fleeting. That thing went away at end of turn. No. A little adjustment for a lot of power. Is that what fleet? That's yeah. That's fleeting. Okay. All right. Looks like we're about to finish this tutorial. All along. Victory. Okay, get another 100 experience. Unlock this thing. We're a little closer to the vault. The core bundle. So this game has different regions instead of colors, but same kind of same kind of thing. Confront the horrors of the Shadow Isles with Lucian and Senna. So those of y'all that, that play this game, that have been playing this game more, what are your favorite? Um, you know, what are your favorite regions? Like, what are like the the real strong regions? All right, play Senna. Shadow Isles. Light, don't fear the dark. The Freljord. The Shadow Isles. The Shadow Islands are OP. Shadow Isles. Okay, sounds like Shadow Isles. So Shadow Isles and Freljord together, because you get to pick two for a deck, right? All right, so anyway, it has Quick Attack. Yep. So we know that. That's like First Strike, Last Breath, Create Something. Not so fast. All right, got a block, so we can stay alive. So then that thing turns just into a four-four. Cool. So they're at four. I'm at one. Play Lucian. Hello, love. What's the plan? What's the plan? It's attack. Took you long enough. 
Lands always attack. Attack. Because they're at four, so obviously the four four is gonna block the four one. So we can get this three damage in. Oh right. Quick attack. What's going on? What? Ah, sorry, I got this little table. They take all my stuff? Okay, it has the challenger keyword. It allows you to choose which unit will block Thresh. Be careful! Okay, so I attack here, and I, so I want Senna. Well, if I don't want either. Dang. So now it has double attack, which means it allows them to strike twice while attacking. So now there's double attack. And that's it? Huh. So I just wanted to just basically that tutorial just kinda of showed you some keywords. So Senna is Lucian's wife, and in the lore she was trapped trapped on Thresh's lantern. Oh, I need another hundred before I get this thing? All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Five more. Ice and wind. Okay, yeah, so that was just the lore. Thresh kidnaps Senna and keeps her prisoner. Mulligan combo plays and champions. Pick your starting cards. Okay, so you get to Mulligan, you replace each card in any uh, for a different card in your deck. So I want to replace the seven mana thing, I want to replace this nine mana thing, this seven mana thing, and the seven mana thing. I don't want any of these. That's basically how you get to Mulligan. There, through the trees. Attack with Green Glade Lookout. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Get an extra mana gem this round. Reduce the cost of the most expensive unit in your hand by one. So now this only costs five instead of six. So you were like Yasuo, or, I don't know, yeah, yeah, Yasuo. Four three, quick attack. When you stun or recall an enemy, I deal two damage to it. Level up. You stun or recall six plus units. Click pass. Okay. Wind at your back. You'll always find your way. I guess I'm now blocking. Oh, because they they have challenger. Cast Steel Tempest. Stun an attacking enemy. What happens when you stun them? Basically takes them out of combat, I assume. Yeah, removes it from combat.
Okay, my action. Attack with these two things. Okay, we will do. They get so much mana compared to me. An impasse, huh? Yeah, it's like removing it from combat and tapping it. Makes sense. You're just a great Avarosan lands. You have got no quarrel with you. It's just like not having me play anything, basically. So this thing has trample. If I would die, level it up instead. Castile Tempest. Stunned. <laughs> it's like playing against Simic. <laughs> Deal two damage to everything. Okay. All their stuff also. Now this thing transforms into an 8-8. Eight eight. Ouch. Well, wasn't expecting that. Yasuo. Call that a sword. Some didn't, but I changed their minds. Big words. Might change your too. <clears throat> we're done with you. Yeah. We? They're, they're flooded. They're like mana flood. I'm mana screwed. Ash. Queen Ash. I've got your back. Uh -oh. Into the fray! Huh. So you're on your own now. Help Yasuo defeat Ash and Trindamir. Okay, so Ash, attack, frostbite. That's pretty sweet. And just regular old 8-8. Eight, eight. We're at five mana, so what do you do? Quick attack when you stun or recall an enemy and deal two damage to it. All right, we got this, stun two enemies. Well, that's just very convenient. I'll do what must be done. They just set that up perfectly. Stun both of those. Something and then we do two damage to them. <clears throat> now we got these two attackers. <laughs> yeah, pre-recorded tutorial. <laughs> okay, these two are married. I like the elk. Bull elk or elnuck. Still, that card's cool. All right. Um, All right. So I want to uh, stun this and. Stun that. And no blocks. Continue. So stun in the 4 1 because then we'll just do 2 damage to it. Now this is a 5-4. So this card's pretty broken. All right, so recall a unit. That just puts it back in my hand. So I can put this back in my hand and then... Does that mean... I mean, I still have to... 
I'd still have to like spend what five mana to cast that thing. That's still it's too much to cast it. So yeah, four mana unsummon. Oh, you can do that to the opponent stuff too. Oh, that makes sense. So wait, this is. So like if I if I unsummon the eight one, then this thing this guy strikes it and does two damage still. So this will die. Does that sound right? Oh, he does. Wait, he does five damage now. How do you know it does five damage? Because he strikes it like with his power. Okay, so that's what ice strike it means power. So let's do it to. We do it to that thing just to kill that. Last turn. Yeah, so I, I get it now. So yeah, so strike means with power. This it dealt two damage before because it says I deal two damage to it, but now with a transformed it strike. I gotcha. Recall three enemies. Heal anything seven, draw one. Man, that's not that great. Hmm. Hey, Vox Mortis, yes, I did already move. So, yep, that's that's where I've been the last week. Um, but, yeah, I'm doing great. Everything's good. Yasuo, show yourself. Okay, let's attack. Life and death on the blade's edge. <clears throat> um, Wanderers learn from their travels. Yeah, I'm, it seems like you've seen quite a bit. I'm gonna be getting a new desk also, and so this won't always be my setup with the windows right behind me. It looks like I'm just wearing like a, a really black shirt because of that, but I mean, it, well, it's it's a dark blue shirt. But I have a dark blue shirt and a red tie. You can't really tell. Hey! Thanks so much there, Joy. Getting back in rotation, Q4. Thank you so much for the move fund. That's that's very nice of you. Thanks, Joy. All right, let's open this core bundle. What do we get? Yeah, I'm, I'm already loving the new home. You know, it's still, it's doesn't quite feel like the home yet because you know i'm still just unpacking all the boxes and everything like that but it's, it's gonna be great um but no yeah this rune terror looks really really exciting you know like we're still just going through the the prologue we're at six out of eleven here um but this looks like a really exciting game i do yeah i do prefer tie bars over any kind of chains or pins or anything else. Yeah, I really like the look of tie bars. Always wear a tie bar. I'm saying I. I always wear a tie bar with, with ties. Use the power of Overwhelm to win this round. So Overwhelm is Trample. So 
So they blocked. We're just gonna give this thing plus three, plus zero. Extra muscle never hurts. And now we're doing nine damage and they're at nine. This was the fastest tutorial. So that's just saying that overwhelm is trample. What is this? It's just redoing it. None shall oppose me. Hey, what's up, Phone Cats? Phone Cats raid. Welcome, everybody. Uh, let's see. So we're attacking. So, Phone Cats, have you been playing Legends of Ruterra for a while? Wait, a battling enemy. A battling ally strikes a battling enemy. So we want to do this. So we take our ally, strike this thing. Okay, you stream every day. Perfect. Okay, so, so Phone Cat's playing Legends of Ruterra every day. Cool. Just starting the game. We're just starting the tutorials. Coming over from Magic. Overwhelm. Use what you've learned about Overwhelm to win this round. Okay. So we're going to... What do we got? We got 8 mana. So grant me plus 2 plus 0 if you have another Noxus ally. Oh, okay. I assume this is a Noxus ally. I don't know. Let's just play it. Play it. The Empire. You can count on me. Move out. Not on my watch. All right, so we got bursts, fast and burst. So fast is like instant speed. Burst is like an interrupt. If you remember from old school Magic days, it's like it's like interrupt, and then yeah, slow is like sorcery. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to give this thing plus three. Strike the level. That thing has overwhelm. And then we're going to have this do damage to that. Does this thing still do damage or not? Oh, because this thing doesn't have trample, so it doesn't, it doesn't do damage. Okay, so that thing would not have done damage, so that was so I just wasted that spell. So try again. So we gotta do that before blockers. Can I even do that before? No, because it's gotta be a battling enemy. Oh, this gives it El overwhelm. Okay, never mind. All right, well, figured it out. Sound the alarm. So that gives it plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm. So we want to give this thing overwhelm. And then that's... Wait, this isn't going to kill them. <laughs> Last two tutorial. Wait, this isn't gonna work. Oh yeah, no, this will work. Okay, no, I figured it out. All right, so we'll have you bat, you battle you. Yeah, because then, because then the transforms. We need to do damage here first because the damage goes left to right now this transforms and then it has the six extra damage okay we figured it out took a minute hey Zedalom cool thanks 
Okay, we got three more tutorials. The victory most elusive. So we're gonna use elusive ally. So elusive is just flying. So we're gonna use some flying. So elusive is OP. Oh, thanks Walker. Yeah, Walker says this is a favorite CCG in a very long time. Yeah, this looks really, really cool. Can you use an elusive unit to win this round? Of course I can. <laughs> T-Hex. You're just a 1-4 with no cards in hand, so you just play this thing and attack. Can't fly if you don't try. <laughs> Can't fly if you don't try. Oh, really? They say they plan to nerf Elusive. It's too good. Yeah, Elusive is flying. All right, use Elusive units to win this round. All right, so they're at one. They have one card in hand, though. Go get him, 1-1. One, one. Poro! Attack! Somebody else says, I don't think any nurses have been mentioned yet. If anything needs a nerf, it's the Shadow Isles right now. Shadow Isles does sound pretty sweet, though. Like, as far as, like, the names of, like, the regions, Shadow Isles. That does sound pretty sweet. All right, so they're at five. No cards in hand. That's too elusive. Grant and I lie elusive. So we're just going to play this thing. And granted elusive. And now go attacking. It's kind of weird that it doesn't like. I'm, yeah, I'm so used to like it always stopping before combat, and then you know, then you go, then you go to combat. You just choose when combat is. So like, if you just click OK, you just like pass through your turn. You have to actually attack with your creatures. All right, we got Champion Bundle. Yeah, so there's six regions right now. See, so yeah, you no, you can kill them with just with anything, you know, with any creatures or anything. That little tutorial was all about just showing like basically what flying flying was. All right, we got a common wild card. We got two of these commons, two of this thing, and some of those cards. All right, two more. Spirit time low. Ephemeral, ephemeral units don't last long, but often come with great power. Learn about the timing you'll need to harness it. Use your ephemeral units to win this round. So yeah, so these units basically just last for one turn, I guess. Last breath, deal one damage to each nexus. So I don't see any reason why not to do anything but attack all. go away at the end of the of the round and they deal one damage to each nexus so shadow isles, shadow isles has the strongest removal in top end cards all right so we're going to what they just got a three three okay and i have this one one last breath Summon a 4-4. Four, four. Mm 
I don't understand. What, what is this thing? If you don't have one, gain the attack token. What? Is, I don't even understand what this card does. I mean, it gives me the attack token, but I already have one. So we turn our 1 1 into a 4 4 with Ethereal. Oh, now you can. Oh, okay, so post combat you get to. You can rally and get. You get the attacking thing again. So you can attack twice in the same. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I knew about like the attack on your opponent's turn with the rally. But I didn't think of like the attack after you've already attacked. Yeah, so it's like response resurgence. I like the resurgence thing. Okay, they have a bunch of stuff over here. So just a couple two fives, a three three, and a six six. So summon, all right, so summon three unleashed spirits, which are just one ones. Okay. Whenever another ally dies, it deals one damage. Okay. And then to play me, kill an ally. What do you do? Last breath, you summon a spiraling. Okay. So I think we want to Get these things out here. I don't know. I'm not even going to be dealing any damage. Deals one damage to the enemy nexus. I'm not going to do seven damage. Hmm. Am I supposed to be like blocking or something? Like waiting for them to attack? I might have lost this tutorial. We have to kill them this turn. I don't really see me killing them this turn. Unless they make really bad blocks. One damage by not playing Prankster first. Gotta play the Prankster first. Oh. Wait, not you. Nope. Right, because then, then we kill this thing and we do one damage. Did we leave them at one? Hey, French. There's a lot of clicking okay when you, like, have nothing. Point of damage. Most people believe Ledros is the most unhealthy card in the game. Yeah, it could just be like with the tutorial, they're having me click more. 
I'm not saying that that's necessarily how it plays out in like the regular game. I'm just kind of like that's just an observation for the tutorial. All right, so we're both at seven. Use Frostbite to protect your Nexus this round. Well, that's my only... Wait, do I gotta do... Do I have to do this now? I don't know, probably. They're telling me I can do it now. Frostbite can neutralize powerful weapons. Yeah, this is just, just an online game. Use Frostbite to slow down your opponent and protect your Nexus this round. You're in over your head. You can't play a unit while attacking or blocking. Well, that's lame. I'm only saving two health here. I guess they don't get to... Uh... Yeah, they don't get to draw a card because they don't don't actually strike because their power is zero. So a four five and a seven six. What am I trying to do? Probably just kill them. Kill all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all other enemies. So we'll, they gave us enough mana to frostbite both of these, and then kill the frostbited enemies. <clears throat> and now we attack the three. Victory! Oh, we're so close to the vault. 50 more experience. We got this cool looking thing though. The champion bundle. Ooh, we got a rare wild card. Two Senna's. Is that what that means? So like we got two copies of Senna, one copy of Lucian. I guess that, that's got to be what it means. Oh, you don't actually open the vault until Tuesday, though? And it can level up to level 13. Okay, so depending on... Where do you check that? Is that what this thing is? Probably not. Um, how do you check that? Home. Vault. Okay, so basically, so we're at level one right now, and if we get to here, we get to level two vault, and so like, it opens on Tuesday, but then like the more levels that we have, then the the better stuff that we open, I guess. That would... So that's how that works. Do I have some quests? Ooh, I have some daily quests now. Deal 25 Nexus damage, play three cards that cost six plus mana, and spend nine mana. Sounds good. Okay, so that is, that's all the tutorials. All right, so we have completed the tutorials. And so now, time for player versus player, right? Is that the next step? Those of y'all that play the game, is that is that the next thing we do? Do we need to, we need to make some, need to make a deck and start playing versus player? This is like draft, so we'll just wait on that. All right, that's the next step. And is this like versus player? Is this like ranked basically? Yeah, I'm not, yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna be using any wild cards right now. 
Okay. Player chooses between normal and ranked. You can choose ranked or not. Okay. All right. So that's what we're going to do up next. So we're going to just take a, a quick little break here for the YouTube video. So that is all the uh, tutorials in Legends of Rune Terra. And we're about to start playing some uh, real ranked games versus other players or non ranked. I don't know. One of those two. Um, all right. Y'all on YouTube. You know, you know what the drill, uh, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Um, you know, let me know what you think of the tutorials, Legends of Runeterra, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to start kind of just diving it, diving in here and, um, getting better at the game and seeing where we go from there. All right. Thank you so much for watching though. And I will see you for the next video.